this marks week 20 of living in a vehicle. And I don't even think the van was working for very much of that. Actually, it worked for very, very short time. Like, for four weeks of that. So I've been living in a, in a broken down van for nearly 20 weeks. Um, <laughs> my foot is itchy. You want some comedy? What? You got some comedy? Huh? You want a comedy? It's bad. What's in comedy? When I was here a couple of years ago with my lifelong uh, partner, Benjamin, uh, who I love to death, um, and uh, he's going through a tough time right now, buddy, I love you to death, and I, I could give you a big hug when I see you. Um, chin up, buddy. Chin up, pal, all right? I know, uh, breakups are... Breakups are the worst thing. It's, uh, it's, it's awful. It's like that pain in your chest, and nothing fixes it. No exercise, no food, like, no, no amount of drugs or alcohol. It just kind of, it's just there, and it feels so empty, and it, it's, it's awful. It's awful. It's enough to make you never want to, never want to give it a shot again. Um, so I, uh, buddy, I get it. I get it, man. And uh, I, I'm, I'm, I hope, uh, hope you're well. And, um, like I said, I can't, I can't wait to uh, get home and give you a hug. Two years ago when I came here with Ben, it was his idea to, in fact, come to the UK, um, for me to do comedy. As we were sitting in a flat in Amsterdam, I did my best to book as many shows as I could about a month out, and I got about a dozen. Uh, three of those shows were at a club um, called The Stand. For those of you in Canada, The Stand is kind of the equivalent of our absolute comedy. The three locations are Edinburgh, Glasgow, and uh, Newcastle. The Stand here in Edinburgh, this is like the, the flagship location. What really caught my eye about it is on their amateur night, so they call it Red Raw. Um, I think the doors, like the show starts at 8.30, the doors open at 7.30. But if you walk past that club somewhere around 7, 7.15, there was a line of people going around the corner, just waiting to be the first ones in when the doors open at 7.30, right there. That's the, the exact reason why um, I have moved across an ocean into a van <laughs> um, to do comedy here, because that kind of market, I mean, people who love comedy that much, like that's, that's, where, that's where I need to be, because comedy is in fact what I do. The woman who's doing the, the tree, the tree cutting down, you, 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 you are from Canada, what's the, what's the, what do we actually call it? Is that just like a lumberjack? I've heard of lumberjill. Lumberjill, that's cool. Okay. Right. It's 2018, you're right. Lumberjill. Lumber person. What bathroom do I use? I'm a lumber person. You know what they call, you know what they call, they call it here, I just heard this the other day, they call it a tree surgeon. Right? Am I, am I off on this? You guys call it a tree surgeon. I think that's a little bit much. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, I know, like, I got some friends that have been in the, like, they've, they've been trying to become a doctor their entire life. You know, they've taken a lot of medical school. You know, they haven't, they've never been outside. They've never seen the light. It's been like 10 years of just focusing all of their energy. And like, that's, they get the exact same title as a guy who's like, all right, here we go. <laughs> You know, I just think there's a little bit difference there, you know? Like, like, nobody's ever invited me over to, like, help remove their gallbladder before, you know? And then paid me in a case of beer. Like, it just it doesn't happen. And then let me keep whatever part of the gallbladder I want. Like, it just doesn't... Come on,